So the composition inhale and exhale F, you may think of course exhale air will have lower uh, oxygen because it's used for respiration. This is at resting. So if during respiration, of course the amount of exhaled air concentration will be lower because the oxygen is being used for respiration itself. Okay. Carbon dioxide inhaled will be lesser, much lesser than exhaled because carbon dioxide is produced as a byproduct during uh, respiration in the uh, mitochondria. Okay, water vapor it varies. Places like Singapore will be extremely humid, while places like Australia, New Zealand, it will be more dry in terms of air. Okay, but exhaled air because water vapor is produced during respiration, so it is more saturated. Okay, body temperature for air. Okay, because no matter what, the air has been circulating in the body system itself. So it's 37 degrees Celsius and respiration helps to maintain the body temperature due to the heat that is being produced. Okay, temperature varies. If you are in an extremely cold country, then of course the inhaled air will be about 0 degrees Celsius. But your regions of the cavity of your nose, the trachea, will help to warm the air so that the air that enters into the lungs at the end of the day is not extremely cold. Okay, dust particles varies depending on whether you are in a place that is extremely polluted or whether you are at a countryside whereby there's barely any vehicles. Okay, if there's a lot of particles, then of course the nose, the cilia itself will trap these particles, the mucus as well, so that the exhaled air which um, is produced from respiration itself having after passing through the trachea region will be of very little if any dust particles okay so differences between photosynthesis and respiration these are the parts that you can read up what i do want to point out is that respiration compared to breathing okay so breathing as you can see so far it is a very physical process which uh, which requires your nose region nasal cavity your trachea the bronchus the alveoli itself okay whereas respiration itself is a chemical process you know, because this one will require the use of your mitochondria and oxidation of food will take place which is why it is a chemical process okay so also the apparatuses that are involved breathing will take place uh, using your nasal cavity your bronchi uh, bronchioles and your alveoli okay whereas in respiration this one will take place in your mitochondria okay so breathing itself the production you will get carbon dioxide that is exhaled out Okay, whereas in respiration, this one, the chemical process will produce energy and carbon dioxide as well as water itself. Okay, so just few differences between uh, uh, respiration and breathing itself. Okay, that's the end of the topic on respiration. Thank you for watching.